Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Subtracting Integers with Models. Let's go ahead and review our counter key because we will be using counter chips today. We know that yellow means positive one and red means negative one. And something that we're going to be thinking about while we're working through uh, subtracting integers with our counters is that when we add a zero pair, it's not going to change the value. So here I have two yellow counter chips. This just means I have two. I'm gonna add a zero pair. And although there's more chips, I still just have two because this really means two plus zero. That means I can add as many zero pairs as I want to because I have not changed the value of the number. And we're gonna use that today when we're subtracting. Something else we wanna think about is that subtracting means to take away. So we are going to be taking away when we're using the counter chips. Let's go ahead and get started. I've given an easy example, six minus five, which we all know is one, just to work through how to do this with counter chips and number lines. So the first thing I would do for counter chips is just show what is given right here, which is a positive six. So I put six yellow chips. And what this means is I'm going to take away five positive chips from what I have. Now, I already have enough counter chips that I could take away five, so I won't need to follow this step, but I'm always going to run through the same steps. I'll add zero pairs if needed, and then I'll take away the number after the subtraction sign. So here I'm just going to box around my five yellow tiles and take them away. What's left is my answer, so I have positive one, which we knew was the answer. Next, I'm gonna show this on my number line. We remember from the last lesson with adding integers that the positive or negative tells us which direction to go. So we'll start at zero here, but because this is a positive six, I'm gonna be going six to the right. So I'll go ahead and start at zero and go six to the right. And what makes subtraction different than addition with the number lines is that this subtraction sign means go the opposite so I'm gonna go the opposite direction of positive five. Well, since positive five would go to the right, I'm going to go the opposite of that, so I'll go five to the left. And I started above six. I ended at one. So again, the answer is one. Let's try this with some integer problems. Here I have negative one, and I want to take away four chips. Well, I only have one chip and it's red because that's negative. What I wanna take away is four positives, so four yellow chips. This is where our steps come in handy. It says that we can add zero pairs if needed. And remember from the beginning of this lesson, you can add as many zero pairs as you want. Now I'm not gonna just add a ton of zero pairs. I wanna add the exact number I need. So because I wanna take away four yellow chips, I'm gonna add four zero pairs. Once I've done that, now I have enough that I could take away the four yellow chips. Notice that the way it's written right now, this is still negative one. It's negative one plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero. That's important because I haven't changed the problem. When I take away the chips, that's me solving the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and box around the four yellow chips and take them away. What's left are five red or five negatives. So that's negative five. I'm gonna do the same problem on the number line. So because this is a negative one, I'll start at zero and I'll go one to the left. And then from there, I wanna go the opposite of four to the right. So I will be going four to the left. And I land at negative five here as well. Let's try another one. This time I have three positives and I would like to take away two red tiles. I don't have any red tiles. So I'm going to add zero pairs because I wanna take away two red tiles or negative two, I'm gonna add two zero pairs. So the way this is written just like this means three plus zero plus zero. But now I have those two red tiles, which I wanted to take away. 
So I'm going to go ahead and box around them and take them away. And what's left is five yellow tiles. So I end up with an answer of positive five. On the number line, I'm going to go three to the right, starting at zero. And then from there, I'm going to go the opposite of negative two. So instead of going two to the left, I'm going to go the opposite of two to the left, which is two to the right. And I will land at five. Our final problem is negative five take away one red chip. So I already have five red chips, so I don't need to add any zero pairs this time. And if you have been paying attention throughout the examples, a couple of the examples we did have to add zero pairs and a couple of them we did not. So for this one, I'm just going to take away the one red tile and that leaves me with four red tiles. So my answer is negative four. On my number line, I'm going to go five to the left, and then I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to go the opposite of one to the left, and so I'm going to go one to the right, which will land at negative four. Let's recap. We know that with counters, we will add zero pairs as needed, and then take away the counters that were listed after the subtraction sign. And for number lines, we'll draw the first number line and then go the opposite direction of the second number. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe below so you can see this and other lessons. Until next time.